out here in the west where the wind blows free and the sky is not cloudy all day we bring you episode 26 of the continuing story of which castor oil and the sun dunce kid this episode which will answer those questions will wilma will florence floozy get her man will the jewels be recovered and will finally justice be done stay tuned now for this great saga which answers these questions out here in the great west where the wind blows free and the sky is not cloudy all day we bring you episode 26 of the continuing story of Butch Castor Oil and the Sundance Kid. And this saga, which answers those great questions, will Wilma, will Florence Floozy get her man? Will the jewels be recovered? Will justice finally be done? Stay tuned for this episode where these great questions will be answered. here in the West, Butch Castorol and the Sundance Kid are known as dangerous desperados, but they're dangerous desperados of a different sort. Butch, for example, is renowned for his unwashed state. No one has ever witnessed water touching his entire body. As a matter of fact, he warns of his coming about three miles of his advancing into the town if the wind is right. On the other hand, the Sundance Kid is of a different sort. The Sundance Kid is as fastidious as is Butch Seedy. At 6 a.m. tomorrow, the Sundance Kid and Butch Castor Oil are going to attempt a robbery of Florence the Floozy, of Wilma and Dolly May on their cattle ranch, the Broken Bustle. While Butch Castor Oil and the Sun Dunce Kid stalk their unwitting prey, the three girls prepare for their upcoming garden party at which they will entertain. Get it! 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 Get it!
One thing our daring desperados had not reckoned with is Rugged Reach, Sheriff of Dodge. Rugged Reach and Deputy Shell are in hot pursuit. It isn't long before the sheriff and his deputy have their prey, and once again, justice is served. 